Mike, I know a lot of the time um, you don't want to make it about one player, but Trace seems to have a keen sort of sense of, of the legacy he'll leave behind. He's only the third player now in program history with a triple-double. What do you think that means to him? Do you, did, did you bring that up in the postgame locker room? I never once addressed it at all. I mean, it's, it's a part of our game. Um, you know, when I took this job a year and a half ago and sat down with Trace and watched him on film and critiqued this game, there's not a lot he can't do. You know, no, he's, he's not shooting jump shots. I get all of that, but he's shown in practice he can make them. You know, he just got to shoot them in the game. But he's skilled enough to do the things that he's doing on the floor. And the fact that he's being doubled and triple team, you know, he's got to sacrifice the ball. There's nowhere to go with the ball but to get it out and, and try to find open shooters. And tonight we were really good in that area and we made shots tonight. It, it, life is pretty damn good when you can make shots, you know, when, you, when your best player is being double teamed. Mike, going along with that, uh, just the recognition of his teammates, you know, he was being doubled in different areas of the floor to, to find the right cutting lanes and all that to take advantage of his unselfishness. What was your impressions of their recognition of what was being done to him defensively and, and the, their ability to take advantage of it? Well, we knew about it coming into the game. I mean, we watched enough tape on Nebraska, and everybody's going to start playing more zones and, 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 and double teaming him. And, hey, it's – there's nothing you can do about that. You know, you just got to make sure that the spacing is correct, guys are cutting properly, and the ball's got to come out. It just can't stick. And I thought tonight we got the ball moved around and guys, you know, had some good looks and they knocked them down. Mason in the back from Jim. Kind of sticking on that same theme, we didn't really see the ball move as much with Rutgers. Was there an emphasis on that in practice did you this chart, week? Did you chart that game? I did not know. You didn't. Well, let me help you out here. We had nine wide open shots that game, two missed layups to go with those nine missed shots. So there were good looks. We just didn't make them. Jim. Coach, rebounding was a big problem against Rutgers tonight. You guys seemed to get back on the right track. It, uh, the numbers were pretty far apart, got closer there toward the end. But what was the difference for the team on the floor tonight versus what you saw? Well, a, a lot of it had to do with the two days we had to practice. You know, we went back to our basic in terms of, you know, block out dr rebounding mm -hmm. drills and, and, you know, to try to get their attention that way and, and then to let them know that, Rebounding is a big part of, of the basketball game. And uh, my whole theme has always been, hell, if you, you play defense tough and you rebound the ball, that's, that's the reward. Now you can go down and play offense and have fun. I mean, that's the whole beauty about defending and rebounding. And we, we lacked in that area in, in, uh, at Rutgers. Tonight we were a lot better. Mike. Coach, Miller Cup had a bunch of baskets tonight off the bounce. How, how important is that aspect of his game to your team, and how has he improved in that area? Well, he's worked at it. You know, I mean, that's every day we do ball handling drills, and we do drills where you got to make plays off the bounce. And he's starting to, do, he's starting to get better at it, which is kind of nice to see. It means the work that he's put in is, is working for him and working for our ball club. All right, Tally, last one. Coach, Trey Galloway's talked about just the work he's put in with his three-point shot. I guess this offseason over the summer leading up to the season, what are some of the things maybe you've seen behind the scenes of him just putting in extra work in terms of shooting? Well, the good thing is getting him back healthy because um, he works. I mean, I, I have no, no problems with that kid. I mean, he works his butt off on the floor. In practice, he, he gives you effort. And it's it spills over in the game. I mean, tonight he was reckless. I mean <laughs> – you know, defensively he was great, and he made he made shots, which was kind of nice to see. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you.